the importance of accountability and how to use it when going paleo. As the previous video mentioned, building new habits can be tough, but it is always possible. It can be difficult, however, and many times we need a system to help us stay on track. Building a habit is one thing. Sticking with it is quite another. To make sure you don't fall off the wagon when it comes to developing your paleo lifestyle, you're going to want to take tremendous care to get back on the horse on those days where you might slip up and say, what will one time hurt? I've been doing so well. Sure, a one-time slip-up can be a nice indulgence, and in moderation, any unhealthy lifestyle choices you make may be less damaging than if you were making those poor choices all the time. But you do not want to get in the habit of excusing yourself for doing things that you know in your heart of hearts is going against a very specific goal or lifestyle that you have in mind for yourself. If you tell yourself it's okay to indulge once, you might want to indulge again later, and soon whatever self-control and discipline you would manage to summon will be lost. It's a slippery slope when it comes to staying true to a new lifestyle, and if you aren't willing to put in the work, you will never get the results you desire. However, if you are willing to hold yourself accountable, whether by journaling about your paleo journey or by making charts detailing your pitfalls and your success stories, you are that much closer to making it something so easy that you do it without even missing the way you once lived. The days of indulging in things that are bad for you will feel almost like a bad dream. It's like someone who has quit smoking and hasn't touched a cigarette in about 10 years will sometimes say it seems like a whole other lifetime ago, and they can't believe they ever did it in the first place. The same is true of going paleo. If you are willing to put in the time to make this work for you, someday you will look back on the bad choices you made for your health and feel horrified and perplexed at what you had been thinking all that time. Journaling can be a great tool. If you are writing down your victories and the things you have had a hard time with, you can make a plan to deal with those difficulties at a later time. Writing about your journey can help you understand what things might cause you to crave certain foods that you know are bad for you. That way, you can avoid triggering events and focus on making sure you remain in situations that allow you to make the healthiest choices possible for yourself. If you are craving something processed, for example, you can try the old bait and switch. Think about the thing you are craving and equate it to a healthier alternative. Maybe instead of eating a cheeseburger from your favorite fast food restaurant, you could try a leaner meat burger instead. You can easily find bread alternatives to create wraps out of lettuce. You hardly miss the bun. Bread alternatives come in all shapes and sizes. Flax seeds can make impressive alternatives to bread. There are also other gluten-free options that might work for you. Just make sure you are doing a good job at reading the labels to the foods you eat before you eat them so you don't end up making a mistake that could cause your body confusion. A good alternative to journaling about your diet is talking to friends and family members about it. Co-workers can also be beneficial to keep in the loop. Anyone in your life who might want to invite you out to places you will have a difficult time finding a healthy meal should be informed that your lifestyle has changed. That way, if they see you reaching for something you know you shouldn't have on a paleo diet, they will have the opportunity to ask you if that is something you are supposed to have and what your plans will be concerning your diet in the future. If writing things out and talking to your community to attempt to create a support group isn't enough, there is always the option of making little charts or checklists to keep yourself in line. These can easily be placed on your refrigerator door so you know you are working the best you can every single day toward your goals. For example, you might have a line with a box next to it for a check mark that says paleo meat or paleo vegetables or paleo fruits, maybe with a yes or no box. If you select a checkbox for no, Maybe you can have a line following that says why, or another line encouraging you to do better tomorrow. It is important not to punish yourself too severely for slipping up because it can be very easy to discourage yourself from ever picking the diet back up to try again. You don't want to traumatize yourself before you have even had the chance to succeed. A lot of us end up with an unhealthy mindset that tells us we aren't capable of achieving the things we set out to do, and the first time we make a mistake, it seems to confirm this silly suspicion in our minds and we feel sad and depressed about it and seem to continue to verify that negative information with more and more slip-ups. But if we forgive ourselves and move on, quickly correcting our paths and going back to where we started so we can keep going in the right direction, then before we know it, we will be living an authentic paleo lifestyle and there's no reason not to do that. It is within our power, even when our minds are against us and tell us that we have no control. We must prove that is not the case, especially to ourselves. Once we realize just how much power we have, then we will truly see the power of accountability. 
if we aren't always making excuses for ourselves and instead focus our attention on ways that we can improve and do things in better ways, then we will stop living the powerless type of lifestyle that leads us to ultimately decay and feel miserable all the time and start making the choices that allow us to feel powerful and confident, all the while knowing that we are capable of achieving the goals that we set out to achieve. And there is nothing more rewarding than that. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.